welcome to the Barnacle State Historic Park. Behind me is the Barnacle House because it looks like a barnacle, get it? Built in 1891 by Ralph Middleton Monroe, the Barnacle is Miami's oldest home still in its original location. Monroe founded the Biscayne Bay Yacht Club in 1887 and was its first Commodore. He held that position for 22 years and he'll be the Commodore forever to us Floridians. It's a really cool way to get a glimpse into Florida frontier life and that Florida frontier spirit where you built things by hand, you made things to last, and the bay was the way of life. Entrance to the barnacle is on the honor system, and we are honorable people, so we will be putting money right in there. Doop. We've honorably paid, now we'll continue on our journey. We're coming up on the back side of the house. So the house is shaped like a barnacle and was built to last like a barnacle. Here's a photograph of Ralph Middleton Monroe, otherwise known as the Commodore, during the early days of Miami. And this is a photo of the bay in the late 1800s when the Commodore would have first visited. When Monroe first moved to the area, he lived in this boathouse. The photo is the original boathouse and you can see out there the boathouse as it stands today. Monroe befriended many of the early families who settled here, like the Peacock family, who helped him to build the original boathouse. It was destroyed in the hurricane of 1926, and when it was rebuilt, they added breakaway walls so that it wouldn't be completely destroyed, and it worked during Hurricane Andrew. Monroe lived on the second floor of the boathouse, and the first floor was his workshop where he designed and built boats. He also closed the boathouse off for part of the year to build toys for his children. The Barnacle was originally a one-story house. It was later raised, and the first floor was built underneath the second floor. One on a pedestal here by the doorbell. Anyone who wanted to get in could come, give a little ring, and then someone would come open the door. This is Monroe's second wife, Jessie. She was 19 when they married. Jessie was born with polio. They call this Miami's first selfie. You can see the self timer there in their hands. You can see the nautical influences everywhere and models of Monroe's boat designs. The dining room where the family would have gathered for their meals. Monroe was a salvager. He used wood and other materials from salvaged boats to build parts of the home. The Barnacle was originally a one-story home. Monroe used railroad jacks to slowly lift the home and build a new first floor, lifting the original first floor up to now be the second floor of the home. This shelf displays some of the toys Monroe built for his children. The home was designed for hot air to be pulled up and out of the home. From this room, ladies would sit, write letters, and watch the bay. This is Ralph and Jesse's bedroom. This is their son Worth's bedroom. This is their daughter Patty's bedroom. Ralph built the four-post bed for her, and he built another matching four-post bed for her favorite doll. And this is Josephine's room, Jessie's sister, who moved in to help with the children.
Every family member made use of the sewing room to repair their own clothing. Running water was added to the home in 1912, but Monroe still didn't trust it. He continued to use the original pump rather than using the piped-in water. Note the moonshine on this grocery list. Mystery well. And there is a rebuilt boathouse. Monroe first lived in the original boathouse before completion of the Barnacle House. As you can see, the home is situated directly on Biscayne Bay, and this contraption is the Marine Railway. Monroe built it to help sailboats get past the shallows and launch into Biscayne Bay. It's kind of in a little bit of shambles right now, but looks like there's some work going on inside the boathouse. The sailboat we see out on the bay today is called the Egret. That is the Egret. It's a replica of Monroe's prized sailboat. This boat washed up during Hurricane Irma and they're still trying to figure out how to get it back home. Monroe loved to build boats and repair boats and this he did. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Barnacle, Miami's oldest home. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.